Last year, more than 600 people climbed to the summit of Mount Everest, yet only 529 people have ever circled the Earth in space. Why is it so hard to go to space? Outer space starts at an altitude of only 100 kilometers. The International Space Station and many satellites hang out only a few hundred kilometers above the Earth's surface, a place called low Earth orbit. This isn't that far away. In fact, even a telephone pole-sized rocket could take a human to this altitude. But only for a few minutes. A few hundred kilometers above the Earth, this rocket is still at the mercy of the Earth's gravity. And this pole soon drags it back to the ground. To actually live and work or do anything significant in space, humans and their spacecraft need to stay in space. To do this, our rocket needs to go fast, not just up, but sideways. If the rocket flies sideways fast enough, it will begin to fall around the Earth. This state of permanent freefall at 8 kilometers per second is called orbit. So how hard is it to reach orbit? A full tank of gas from an average car contains enough energy to accelerate a single astronaut to orbital velocity if the astronaut didn't have to carry the fuel with them, and a rocket to burn that fuel. But they do. And accelerating the extra mass of the rocket requires more fuel, which increases the mass of the rocket requiring more fuel, which increases the mass, well you get the idea. Engineers refer to this exponential growth of fuel mass as the tyranny of the rocket equation. And as a result, modern rockets launch only 2 to 5% of their total mass into orbit. All the rest is burned as fuel or dropped back to Earth. And that's only to get into a low orbit around the Earth. To go further than this simple orbit requires exponentially more fuel. This is why the Saturn V, the rockets that took humans to the moon, are the largest and most expensive rockets ever built. The 24 astronauts who rode those rockets to the moon are the only humans to ever leave low Earth orbit. If we ever want to send more than a few humans beyond Earth orbit, beyond our solar system, we would need to avoid the tyranny of the rocket equation. Fortunately, it's only a constraint of our engineering, which we may one day overcome. The trick is to get rid of the rockets. But that's a story for another video. Thanks for watching. To learn more about rockets and spaceflight, check out these links. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing for future videos.